Hi, Silver Thea here, here to talk about my thoughts about the new Looney Tunes show, and attempt to be an online star. Yeah, I have a little bit of Daffy in me. <clears throat> so yeah, I am really looking forward to this show. It seems to bring back the classics to the modern times without really redoing them, like uh, rehashing the classics into cheap Flash movies, or making them into a superhero show that turns out better than what fans first expected, or just having them being babies doing baby things. It's just Looney Tunes being Looney Tunes in the 2000s. Yeah, they have the Roadrunner and Coyote shorts and CGI hey, and they um, took away I'm all happy. of Lola's bunny's okay. moxie. He's a really cute guy. He's sitting across from me right now. He's totally looking at me. Oh no, wait. Now he's looking down. Now he's looking around. Oh, nope. He's looking at me again. <laughs> I better go. Okay, call me later. Okay, bye. And, of course... This. I had a toy train! Stop. That's all I can handle. Yosemite Sam as a rapping baby is better left to the professionals. But at the cost of all that, we get to see some of the great things that aren't around anymore. Unless you're a lucky sob that has Boomerang, like Speedy Gonzalez, Bugs and Drag, and my favorite, Daffy just being Daffy. I'm going to be the best, best friend that any best friend has ever had! But with all the good this show has for it, uh, there is something about it that really bugs me, and not the bunny root way. Not that I want to sound like a douchey, nitpicky, hypocritical fanboy, but what about Tiny Toons and Animaniacs? They were like the Looney Tunes of the 90s, and everyone loves them, even to this day, so why not bring them in as part of the cast? Fans know them better than most of the minor characters from the classic shorts, and Lola has been reused again and again since Space Jam, but when Tiny Toons and Animaniacs ended, they kind of stayed with the shows, and never reappeared since. Remember, cartoon characters never die. We, we just, just do game shows. Why can't they at least give us something from the Animaniacs? Uh, I can understand why Tiny Toons are not being used, considering they're just kid versions of their classic counterparts, uh, but what's keeping them from actually using references or just a cameo from them? So is it like a contract problem with... Uh, with how they couldn't get the 80 cartoon voice actors for the TMT for Forever movie? Seriously, WB, do something with these guys! That's why I think about the show so far, but we have to wait until May till we actually see it and actually judge on what it has. Until then, we'll have to tune in.